A minute and 40 seconds, seconds to guess 10 shoes. Ooh, that's good. Blindfolded. This is the blind running shoe test. Let's do it. Onward and upward. Onward and upward to the year 2020. Isn't that crazy to say? Like 2010 wasn't that long ago, but together we've just lived through a decade on this earth and now we're about to cast out into the 2020s. I think it sounds kind of cool. It's got a nice ring to it. But before we get to 2020 and talk about, oh my goodness, goals and races of 2020, I wanted to take a vlog today to reflect with all of you on the moments that we've shared here in the studio. And there's been so many, there's no way I could put all of the best moments into one vlog. But I went through over the last like hour and a half, just kind of picking out some that jumped out at me, some of the top five moments I would say uh, that I experienced and was able to share with all of you here in my shed. That's right. And for everyone that's new, this is where I record the end of the vlogs where we talk about training philosophies, running shoes. We do live streams in here, running shoe giveaways, all sorts of different opportunities to grow together and become hopefully better runners together. And at the end of the day, at least what I'm trying to do is just be a better person here on this earth. So that's what we're up to today. And we're going to kick it off with adversity in running and on YouTube. That is the title of the blog from probably about 11 months ago. It was a tough day. Roll the tape. And what really, really is frustrating is that a half hour before the live stream goes on air, it's working. And then it stops working. And then it just freezes. And I get this spinning wheel of death that you see on your screen right now. And it just will not connect well. So I'm not gonna give up. 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 And that is the key word is perseverance. The key word for today is perseverance. Cause oh, I'm just, as you can tell, a little perturbed, a little perturbed and it makes me frustrated because you are carving time out of your schedule to sit at a computer, an iPad, a TV, a phone, and just to, your love is here. <laughs> Good m &Ms. Oh, that's sometimes all it takes. Oh. And the, I love the key you. word is perseverance. Amen. Perseverance with a capital P. With a capital P. This man right here. Ah, oh, we're trying. You're doing, honey, you are doing so good. So. I'm sorry to interrupt. I just had that's to. Okay, I that's was okay. That's okay. my head out and I was like, yes, never. <laughs> never give up. Never give up. Never give up. Never. It's a revolution. Oh. Honey, it's a revolution. Oh, sorry, it's so tight in here. You could see what my husband That's right. True love came out to save me after a live stream failed to work so frustrating i think we're now in a good rhythm i think we've done five live streams in a row with no technical difficulties it's very good i'm very excited about it which by the way next live stream just note your calendar right now shout out to everyone in africa and europe the next live stream is going to be noon december 31st 2019 december 31st 2000 is that a Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Anyway, it's next week, noon my time, which is about 6 p.m. ish, depending on where you're at in Europe. So my hope is that everyone in Europe can hang out here in the studio, December 31st, 2019. Okay, so it was a tough moment here in the live, here in the studio with getting the live stream up and running, but it was all about perseverance. And isn't that what this running thing is all about? Like, I've got the knee injury right now. Oh my goodness, I had the foot injury before the Cleveland Marathon. Like, oh, one, it's a perseverance pays off in so many ways in life, really. And for those veterans out there, you know what I'm talking about. For those that have had a career or career changes throughout your life and you're just finding your way, you know, like, oh, putting your nose to the grindstone sometimes really does make a difference. So there you go, adversity in running and on YouTube. And the next one is a little more lighthearted. That's right, we have good times here. And uh, True Love came out to help me for this one as well. The blind running shoe 40 test. seconds. Yes. A minute and 40, 40 seconds. seconds to guess 10 shoes. Ooh, that's good. Blindfolded. This is the blind running shoe test. Let's do it. For 10 seconds? No, you just let it run to a minute 40. Okay. And do you want to stand back here so you're in the shop? Go across you, okay. And I'm just going to drop them. <laughs> That's gonna drop Find your mark. Get set. Go! Oh my gosh, Nike Bill Bowerman Myler shoe. Uh, um, on Cloud X. Saucony, nope. 
Uh, Skechers Razor 3. Oh my gosh, you're amazing. <laughs> oh, uh, Solomon S Lab Sense 6 SG. Uh, uh, on Cloud. <laughs> Hoka, Hoka, uh, Clayton. Hoka Clayton. Oh my two. gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, yes. Nike Pegasus 35 Turbo. Oh my gosh, you're amazing. He's amazing! Uh... I know, these were, I've never seen these in a while. Thanks so much for hitting Okay. The, uh, there you the, go. So okay. I was blindfolded, uh, so no, no, fun, no, no. trying to discern what shoe I was holding in my hand. An amazing time. Uh, I think I got like 8 out of 10 right, if I remember correctly. But it was a good time. And the next vlog that jumped out at me as far as what we did here in the studio has to be, actually the sign is sitting right there, you know what it is, the 10,000 subscriber vlog with Luke. Luke is a vlog fan from Indiana. He's been watching for a long time. He was visiting Denver, and it just so happened when he was in Denver, uh, we passed the 10,000 subscriber mark, and through thick and thin, we kept going, we kept going, and Luke <laughs> made me a song. Hold that, hold it. That's from Luke. No. That is from oh, Luke. Cover your robes, cover your robes. Oh, you my, my. Look at that. Today, 30719, Seeking Beauty, working hard and loving each other. Isn't that Luke, amazing? You read my mind. I told him I wanted to make you a sign, but I just like the day got it away. Was busy. <gasps> it was this busy. This is the best sign I've ever seen. Congratulations and onward and upward. And oh my gosh, look at him oh, go. Oh my What do you guys say? Say congratulations, Papa! Congratulations, so, uh, Papi. <laughs> thank you, buddy. Oh. Congratulations, Papa. Thank you. Yeah. Basically. No, it's a sign. No, it's a sign. Oh. What? <laughs> and we're just getting started. We're just getting started, YouTube family. Okay, there's not much else I can say today, uh, but I will say one thing real quick. I almost quit. I almost quit. 600 vlogs in, and we're almost, you know, we're, I think we're heading toward 1200, so about t 600 vlogs ago, I almost threw in the towel. I was done. I was tired. Uh, I was a little burned out. And I said, you know what? Maybe this isn't going to work. So the message from that vlog and that studio time is hope. There is always hope. And I had uploaded for three and a half, no, three years straight. Three years straight with less than, you know, a thousand subscribers. And that's fine. But then, somehow, we started to find you runners out there, and YouTube started to feed these videos to other runners on YouTube, and the channel began to grow and grow. And it was really hard at the beginning. Anything in this life worth fighting for is probably going to be hard. And sure enough, getting to that 10,000 subscriber mark, I'm glad. I honestly, everyone, just so you know, <clears throat> I almost gave up, legit, like talk to true love about this, I almost gave up on this YouTube channel at least three if not four times where I really really was about to throw in the towel uh, because it was just so hard and it was so hard to do it every single day and, to f and nobody was really watching, like there were a few and shout out to the original people, you know who you are who've been watching a long time, but we're talking like over three years ago, but it was just hard to do it every day when each vlog is getting 50 views, but I'm glad I stuck with it and thank you for sticking with me. So okay, moving on to the next one. We are going with the mental side of running alone. It's a, it's a, it's a good topic. It was a topic that struck a chord with a lot of runners out there. So the mental side of running alone, roll the tape. When you approach peak fitness, it gets easier. Running gets easier. And how does that connect to running alone? Um, basically you start to have more fun and i really mean that like running should be fun i know it's hard but the more fit you become the easier in quotes a little easier it becomes and yes i believe the more fun it becomes and frankly in this world the world we live in like we need a little more fun in this world just like good uh healthy fun because sometimes the stresses of money or politics or whatever else is in oh hold on or lights going out i don't know there's just so much garbage out there so anyway i just i lean into the goodness 
of disconnecting and of running and of re like and 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 okay there's no bike involved there's no rope there's no kayak there's no nothing it's just you and your feet and i love that simplicity and that helps me when i don't necessarily want to go run um, which is very rare. In fact, it hardly ever happens, but it's taken years to build up to that. All right, there you have it. Peak Fitness really does make running alone more fun uh, because I, I, I get it. Not everybody can run in a group, and so that's why I made that vlog, and it struck a chord with a lot of people. Thank you for watching it, and at the end of the day, it's like patience and consistency equals great fitness, and yes, I just like from, and again, shout out to the veterans. You know when you're at a high level of fitness and running becomes easier, um, it's fun. It's just, I don't know how else to, I don't know what else to say. Like you go faster, your legs turn over easier. Everything just feels a little easier, even just walking around throughout the day. So anyway, that is video vlog number four, studio time number four that I'm going to give a shout out to. And last but not least, this one really struck a chord with a lot of people. It has over 150,000 views, marathon training, the two hour principle. If I had to go back and refilm it, I probably would because there's some there's some additions that I would like to make to that video because it's done so well. But roll the tape to your training the block, studio. two two hour training sessions throughout the week. So maybe it's uh, Sunday, Thursday, okay? Where you're, you're, you're hitting a two hour training session. Now we're just gonna keep going here. There's so many benefits, it's insane. But to the steady state aerobic training, is that at longer intervals, uh, it improves our pulmonary ventilation. The lungs become more efficient because they develop more active pulmonary capillary beds. You've heard me talk about that before, which enables our blood to absorb oxygen faster and more easily. How crazy is that? I do my best to educate myself on these topics uh, around exercise uh, physiology and around our, our own anatomy because why? it gives me confidence and it gives me peace of mind when I arrive at the starting line in Amsterdam to know that I put in the work. There's nothing else I can do. If I put in the work, I trust the science, I trust the studies that I've read that, okay, there's nothing else to do but to put the shoes on and let her rip because I believe my, uh, my blood is ready, my lungs are ready. Um, not quite yet, I got a little more work to do, but anyway, so I hope that helped at least paint a little bit of the picture behind why I train the way I train. That two hour plus window is just that sweet spot. Butter my bread, butter my bread. Arriving with confidence at the starting line. There's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. Unless you, <laughs> unless you arrive with too much confidence and too little experience as I did in Amsterdam. Like I felt confident, I felt fit. I had applied the two hour principle into my training a lot going into Amsterdam and I went out in 106.50. It's like, so I had to rein it in a little bit, but I'm telling you, arriving with confidence at the starting line, there's just nothing like it. So that is the last studio shout out from 2019. There's been so many, and I know I'm missing some. Uh, therefore, question of the day, what is one of the uh, most favorite moments from the studio or from the vlog that you remember from 2019? It could be in the last week. It could be in the last, you know, it could be six months ago. Anytime from 2019, is there a moment that we got to share in here together um, that really struck a chord with you and hopefully helped you become a better runner? All right, so that's the question of the day. Thanks for reflecting with me on 2019 here. In the I just love this time of year because it's like turning a page, learning from the past, and looking to the future to new goals, new challenges new opportunities to push ourselves to new heights. Boom, that's it, that's it, all right? All right, everyone, there you go. I'm gonna toss it back on the right to the vlog from exactly one year ago, from late 2018, that'll be on the right. And then on the, on the left, I'll toss it back to the 10,000 subscriber vlog. Uh, oh, just, oh, I can't believe it, oh my goodness. Seems like a lifetime ago, but it was not too long ago. All right, there you have it, everyone. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.